Hey there everyone. So this time around I'll be reviewing one of the Ology series books. This is uh, Wizardology, a guide to wizards of the world. Uh, being a true account of wizards in the known world as told by Master Merlin. So th that part is written here. I'm not very really sure if it's coming through. Yeah. So it's a beautiful book. So really, it, it's like silver gilded on uh, gilded silver on blue. And on the side, it says the same. It's the name of the book. And on the back, there's a blurb. So I'll give you the blurb. And uh, you can read that if you want. So there's the number. I'll link the number. I'll link the product uh, in the description as well. So yeah, let's open this up. So Wizardology is one of the most uh, illustrated, one of the best illustrated books I have got. The I'll show you why. So before that, the contents. So you can see that there are different kinds of uh, uh, authentic, authentic theoretically um, accounts of wizards, wizards of the west, magical creatures, shamans and then uh, there are African shamans, Indian fakirs and then the universal sigillum word and then the finally word of warning. So I'll show you what, why I say that this is one of the best illustrated books I've got in the sea, uh, got. So all Ology books are beautiful. Uh, and I think this one is especially beautiful. So this is basically a part by uh, my faithful reader. So this is basically a part by Merlin. So apparently Merlin has signed here as well and says Anno Domini 1577. So this is supposed to be a recreation of Merlin's accounts on wizards and where they and their habitats and so on, how they look, what they do and so on. So let's start with uh, this Wizards of the West and you can see the rich illustration here all throughout so all of these I have two page illustrations spreads throughout the whole book and then so you have a table of skills here not very sure if it's focusing let's get this so you have a table of skills here and then familiars and then there are good spirits and then where to find the western wizards so you have so part of uh, Europe including UK and so on so Niles so as you can see it's a, it's a beautiful thing so this is wizards of the west descendants of the ancient order and then okay it's not finished <laughs> I've forgotten I've read this book quite a long, long time back and I, I didn't read this at one go this is not a book you should read at one go it's like you consume this when you're low and feeling a little bit down that's what I think about this book so dragon spell taming dragons wizarding equipment sigillum uh, mysteriorum this looks something similar to Doctor Strange's amulet if you ask me then you have magical creatures uh, they include wyverns, unicorns, griffons phoenix so you have a phoenix feather here for example it's a griffon here and then you have mermaids here so all kinds of all manners of magical creatures so to say <laughs> and then uh, you have shamans so you have shamans of the world from different parts it shows the different parts and then you get the classification as well so where lies what kind of shamans and then their familiars stargazing south american shamans so it goes on into depth about shamans now so south american shamans with amphitheaters table of skills so different kinds of shamans are differently covered i think Yeah. Then you have North American shamans. Lab shamans.
and then African shamans. Then you go on to Indian fakirs. You have table of skills here. Great snakes, so on. Arabian sages. So, it's interestingly, you'll see here in animation it says particularly adept at animations involving flight, especially if they have a friendship with a phoenix. So, if you see Arab, Ar Arabian uh, uh, stories have mostly favored genies and then uh, flying carpets. So, th this is what it means. So, th a lot of details have been. Uh, can be found out in this book they have been lot lots of details have been paid attention to and I, that's I, I love that part of this book and they have genies to scry or not to scry three rules of flying a carpet very essential if you ask me <laughs> and then you have Eastern masters then okay still eastern masters going on with oh reminds me of the avatar and then you have dragons here long dragons loom dragons i think Let's see and then an apprentice's appendix you have spellcraft animating different kinds of spells and then the four seasonal spirits and then finally a spell book with, with a spell casting table with the planet spells and their guidances color beast element seal etc and finally at the at the bottom you have scribbles on uh, symbols and their meanings with planetary symbols elemental symbols alchemical symbols and so on Finally, you have the universal sigillum. Okay, I, I do not know what this is. I have not read this part and I do not intend to read it at the moment either. A word of warning, finally, uh, if you want to go on to this. And then finally here comes, so this, I picked this book at a second hand store, like most of my other books. But I was very lucky to find this in a, in a fully intact condition. So I, so you can see there are, so th it, this is basically a game. So it's a game called Away or Wizard, a card game for the honest apprentice. And there's a section on how to play. The whole point of the card game is to collect all cards of a series. So I'll show you what, what, what it means by series. So these are the series. So this is an orange series. Then you have a blue one. So I do not intend to take out this card. So I never actually opened, uh, separated them. But the illustrations are beautiful. So I'll give you a look at the illustrations here. So these illustrations are from the book. There are 24 cards here. So as you can see, it says genie and then Arabian sage and then you have magic spyglass and flying carpet so this is from the uh, eastern lands or not eastern lands middle east and then there are these again green so th th the green one has western wizard cat so this might be a familiar i guess and then talisman and unicorn and similarly I'm trying to separate this without opening this up wolf shaman and then in my opinion this card set alone makes the whole book worth it but the book is really awesome uh, so there is there is a reason why i call this book really awesome 
as why as to why one this is one of my, the best illustrated books I own. So yeah, Wizardology, Wizards of the World. As always, if you have any questions, any comments, anything to say, feel free to comment in the comment section below. And yeah, happy reading.